Hi, my name is Mimi and I would like my hair to be blonde. Blonde? Yes. Stunning blonde. Stunning blonde. With a little bit of outgrow. Yes, with the outgrow because otherwise I think it would be too much. And it's also the first time you're yeah. going to be blonde. <laughs> we turn so that you can see how your yes. hair is now. And it's uh, long, it's getting out of the frame, that doesn't matter. It's too long. I'm going to work with uh, the hard cape. We will see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello friends and Gigi, it's her hair. It's the first time she models for me. We did a little tryout with uh, a part of blonde one that did Kiki's hair. And uh, uh, that's just to see for her how it sit, fits her. And now she's gonna do this because uh, she wants to get into the light colors. So I'm gonna work with my hard cape and then uh, start on that and tell you everything but coming between it and going in the flow. Um, start of course with the protection. Hello friends and Gigi, it's her, her hair, it's the first time she models for me. We did a little tryout with uh, a part of blood one that did Kiki's hair. And uh, that's just to see for her how it sit, fits her. And now she's gonna do this because uh, she wants to get into the light colors. So I'm gonna work with my hard cape and then uh, start on that and tell you everything but coming between it and going in the flow. Um, start of course with the protection. Okay, put her uh, on protection because I need the protection. I set my hard cape to the sides, so I set it to the side also. And then I'm going to adapt my hard cape on the length where I need it. It's a little bit higher. So I can connect to the underlayers and underlines of her. Now I can lay all my products on this cape. And uh, show you that a bit by turning the camera. I can lay all my products on that, so I have, because I work alone, it's easier to work. To put the extra plastic uh, foil to work on, I take a little bit gel, put it on the sides of my hard cape, use it as glue. Lay my plastic foil on it. So now my hard cape stays clean and I have a nice plane to work on. Start with the first lines. Take about a centimeter here. Do this on both sides. Now she wants a bit outgrow, so I'm gonna leave that. So we're going to get into a high blonde color, but then with a bit of outgrow effect. The tape is wel echt handig. Dit? Ja, hoe bedenk je dat dan weer? Ja, ik ben constructiebank eigenlijk ook. Now I'm going to use a bleach. It's a bleach. Uh, it's 9% uh, of sturdy volume. I created a blue bleach and a green bleach. And I put the developed color in it. The developed color gives us nice bluish green. I show you the products by making a photo of it. I set it in the video now. So you can see what uh, gets into her hair. Make sure there's enough bleach on the hairs take a fine line of carton wax lay this on the first part so don't get a hard line take the first plastic foil and lay it over this the wonderful thing of working with a hard cape is you can work really fast I think that's very important because when you bleach hair, I see some hairdressers work over three hours on a bleaching process. And the bleach stays on the hairs and stays and stays and it's much too long for the bleach because after 50 minutes it doesn't work anymore, but it also damages the hair in the maximum. So how faster you can do this on the hairs, the better it is for the hairs.
Maar wat gaat er mis als mensen bijvoorbeeld, als hun haar begint uit te vallen door de bleek? Ja, is je over, over, overprocessed. Als van die filmpjes aan het kijken laat, ik kan er echt uren naar kijken. Ja. Zullen ze fijn vinden, degene die het hebben? Nee, fijn lijkt het me niet, maar het is wel gewoon grappig om te zien wat mensen allemaal mis kunnen doen met hun haar, ook qua knippen. En... Zeker. Onze Theo niet, hè? Nee. Die weet wat hij doet, hè? Heb je wel eens een grote fout gemaakt? Nee. Oh. Jammer. Kan nog misschien. Misschien, de, ja. misschien commentaar geleverd op iets waar je geen commentaar moet leveren. Maar niet qua haar afgebroken. Hebben we het in een Nee, ook niet. <laughs> dat zeggen ouders altijd. Dat je dat wel hebt gedaan? Nee. Of? Dat ze er bang voor zijn? Dat het snoer en andere. Nee, bij gek, het gaat goed zo. Ik ga het eventjes dat ik een beetje kan laten zien. Creating soft line. So it's no hard line, it's outgrow but a soft line. Make sure there's enough bleach on the hairs. Take again a fine part of carton wigs. Just lay it on the first line. Take a plastic foil. Glue it on the product. Take again a centimeter hair. Pin the hairs up. Put in the bleach. It's echt handig. It looks like you're going to knuzzle with me. Yeah, it is ook knutselen. Yeah, ook met dat met die watjes. Dat is dus zodat de uitgroei niet uh, zo'n rechte lijn wordt. Ja. ja, en ook dat de blonde hier daar stopt, die niet ja. hoger in het haar kan. Goed. Part the hairs with my chopstick. Set the hairs aside. Put some bleach on the plastic for. And lay the hairs on that. And so I do all her hair, of course, repeating every time the same thing. And when I come at the at top, I will show you some more of this. Coming on the center of our skull, then a part to the back of the ears, so they get a straight line. I'll do this on both sides. So I have all the hairs to the back from the center of the skull. This still goes to the back. So take the hairs high up, make a soft underline. Go out of the frame, but <laughs> this is not possible to set this in video. Especially not because I do have to video this myself. Take a small part of carton wigs, lay it on the underlines, then I bend over the hairs. So I'm certain that the bleach don't copy the line that lay beneath it. I don't bleach it.
goed als een lekkere haarmassage. Mm -hmm. Don't make a hard line. Work the bleach up. Take a fine part of carton wigs, lay it in on the line. Lay it over and then set in the rest of the hairs. Okay, coming to the sides. Take my first centimeter again. Pin the hair side. Now I'm going to work with a plank. First part. Do the same as I did on the hard cape. But the wonderful thing is now the weight of the hair doesn't hang on her because the hard cape uh, gives some support in hold, holding it high. With this kind of length you need a lot of bleach. Can take a little bit of carton wick, put it on the first part, lay it aside, and so do all the hair. You gaat zij denken naar wie lacht zij zo. It's me, it's Just Kiki in the room. Who's kicking to Kiki? Kiki the kickers. I forgot my kiki. <laughs> you see to the top I go a little bit uh, at the front near to the face lines. I love this because then I get a nice blunt effect and also for her it's nicer to see. De Craw en de Duffen. Zegt me niks. Nee, als jij begint dan. Nee, ja. Oeh, 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 oeh. Je doet gewoon een duif na. En een crow. Ah. Hoe doet een duif? Hm? Hoe doet een duif? Hoe? Ja, dat. Ik kan wel heel goed een koe nadoen. Een koe. Oeh. En we hebben ook een koe. Uh... En een varken dan? Ja, dat ben ik. Ja. Zeehond kan ik ook goed. Ja. Met, met de handen. Ui, 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 ui. <laughs> We hebben alleen een bang nodig. We hebben veel animals in de studio. Let's so, uh... bring your pet to work day. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Kiki to work day. How to get a blue cow. Bring it to you. Zou je je huisdier het haar kunnen verven? Ja, yeah, natuurlijk. Is dat zielig? Mm, soms wel, omdat hun vacht soms heel dik is. Uh, er staan vast ook natuurlijke verfjes die je ja. kan doen. Dan wil ik een keer stiekem doen. Ik denk niet dat mijn moeder heel blij wordt. De hamster. Nee, de hond. Ja, de hond. Ja, ik weet wat je zegt, hè? Oké, okay, for so far uh, all the color is on. So now I close my plastic foils and then we'll wait till she is blunt enough to rinse it out. Tell you afterwards how long it took. Already the back is of course uh, getting blonde. Woo Kiki loves it. <laughs> Take the uh, plastic foil that lays on the hard cape as first because this uh, was glued on the cape. And this I take to the back. Ik weet niet of je dit vasthoudt. Ask her to support me a bit. It's a lot of weight. Echt zwaar. Gewoon afknippen die aan. Op je 
take away my hard cake. Then I take the other plastic foil. You may not this on the you might open up set it. What? You could open up set it. Moet hier? Ja, goed, stak vast knopen. Dan welkom blijven ademen. She still has to breathe, of course. Nu voel ik zo'n omaatje. So now we're going to wait. She's corona proof now. <laughs> so we'll be back. Doe even een kleine video tussendoor. Zoom, zoom. Wanna take a trip, climb up on my rocket ship, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. Gonna cut your hair with a TC1 haircut, a chuck one. It's try on the end, so take a little bit of the length. But I start in the front. I see how wonderful it looks like I outgrow. Soft lines, <laughs> not too hard. Gorgeous. Part lines in the natural lines. Take the first line just behind the ear. Set the hair aside. Get in in the natural shapes. She loves it. Connecting the front to the parts on the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's only 140 degrees. That's true. It's Kiki calling that the scissor is 140 degrees Celsius. And that's what the scissor does is it seals the hairs. They stay close for more than four months. And the nice thing of working with the TCC1 care cut is that you don't have to force anything, it just gently flows through the hairs. I take only the hairs on top on the skull bone, so it works till the heart just on the ear line. Take this to the front. The hair is still ultra ultra wet. So let's try you only see what the color does. Now work till they get on the center of the skull. Every time part on the skull bone, lay the hairs to the front, using the roundings of the skull. Get to the line of parting, go in and gentle. Get down. Down, down, down. As <laughs> you want to go up. The elevator song. Going down, down, down and up again. Working all day down and up again. All elevators together, yeah! This is one elevator to the other, I've never been this high. Oh, and I was so low today. Why do you start now on the front? Because I like it, because she has... Uh, leftover of ponytail, yeah. and I have to connect something to that okay. to get a real good shape. Because usually you start in the back, so yeah. this is to connect to the to the bags. Yeah, yes. and leaving them long because uh, mm -hmm. I think that's more suitable to her. Yeah. Don't ever give me bangs again. Bang bang into the room, and I don't want it. Go in. And gently go down. Het goed wel weer. Precies. Ik ga geen uitkleden, dat is goed. 
Ja, die kann auch fahren. Also on this side I take every time apart on the center of the skull to the front using the natural roundings, lay the hair into the roundings, go in with my scissor and slice cut softly down. Go to my last part on the skull bone. Take the hairs to the front, connect the lines with the point cut technique. Making sure both lines are the same. Now brush the hairs to the back. This is the Olivia Garden brush. It goes very gentle to the hairs. Make sure my cape is not in the way, so I'll pin this to the sides, lines of cutting. First make a baseline. Just set her head to the front. Turn a bit so you can see it. So you see a bit more of what I'm doing. Now this is my line of cutting and this is my line of cutting. So now I go in the natural lines. I take away the straightness of the line. I think a more round line suits her better. You can hear the hair is still in a wonderful condition because you can hear it's cutting. Go back over the same line. To make sure the underlines never get in the way, I take away only the part we lead the skull bone and take that up. Part this so using the skull bone as a guide and make this line a centimeter shorter. Whatever the hair does, it never comes under it. So now I can dry your hair. From uh, Glint I use uh, Velvet. It's a foam. Start blow drying in the neckline, building up.
so far blurry. I use uh, a gloss spray of Köln. The nice thing of the gloss spray is that it doesn't crease the hair. It only adds a real nice satin look to the hairs. And it gives a wonderful smell. Yeah. And it has no hold at all. Just gentle to this. Now, so for her haircut and new color, she likes it. I love it. She loves it. It's first time blonde. I thank you for being my model. I thank you for watching. Thank she you. will turn so you can see the end result. Bye bye. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mimi and I would like my hair to be blonde. Blonde? Yes. Stunning blonde. Stunning blonde. With a little bit of outgrow. Yes, with the outgrow because otherwise I think it would be too much. And it's also the first time, time you're yeah. going to be blonde. <laughs> Wait turn so you can see how your hair is now. And it's uh, long, it's getting out of the frame but it doesn't matter. It's too long. And